This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about bed bugs and the holidays. Now I've made one of these or two of these videos before on, you know, let's say you're traveling around for the holidays and you don't want to pick up bed bugs from a hotel you're staying at or friends and family that you know have bed bugs. Maybe it's your mother, maybe it's your father, maybe it's your brothers and sisters and that's just you know, you don't want to take them home with you. You're going to go and spend the night, maybe over Christmas. Maybe you're going to take two or three days off work and you're going to spend time with your family. Um, I've gone over that already. We've already talked about that. But today, it's going to be a little bit of a different type of a video. Uh, so if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, consider subscribing to my channel. How do you avoid taking bed bugs with you when you travel? So, you have a bed bug infestation. You're crawling all over the place, biting you, eating you up. Maybe you have a mild infestation. Maybe, maybe you're concerned because you may have just discovered the, the bed bugs maybe two or three weeks ago. So, how do you avoid taking them with you? You know you're going to go to Thanksgiving. November's right around the corner. And you're concerned that you're going to end up taking bugs to your friends or your family's homes. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be that person you know, who brought bed bugs into someone else's home. So because someone brought them into yours, you know, and you may know exactly who it was. Maybe it was an uncle. Maybe it was a child's friend from school. You know, but you don't want to be that person that, you know, was the reason that someone else has bed bugs. So how do you avoid this? This is a real hard thing to talk about. This is a real hard thing to do uh, when, you're, when you're talking about, you know, bed bug elimination and avoidance and all those good things. It's, it's, uh, but I'm going to go over it today. I'm going to explain to you what to do. I'm going to try my best to give you advice on how to lessen the possibility of taking bed bugs with you when you travel. So if you like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget, I do live streams every Thursday night, uh, YouTube, uh, typically after 9 o'clock at night. But don't forget, Thursday night's live stream, typically after 9 o'clock after I put all the kiddos to bed. And I may take a break for a little while just because babies keep you up and you don't get any sleep. So anyway, uh, let's talk about bed bugs. Let's talk about how not to take them with you when you travel. Now, this is a question that's asked all the time. I have customers ask me this question. I have friends through YouTube asking me the question. I have, uh, you know, TikTok. I have a TikTok. People over there asking me. People want to know how to avoid being that person. Okay, so... Let's talk about this. Let's, let's, let's discuss what to do and what steps you can take to avoid this. So this is going to be a pretty easy to understand video. It's going to be uh, right to the point. You know, you'll be able to uh, pretty much understand everything you need to do. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. Treat your home. Number one, you need to treat your home. You need to treat your home at least a couple of weeks before you leave. Now, I'm going to go over if you just discovered bed bugs and what to do. But we're talking about uh, right now what you can do preemptively. You know, you've you got a couple of weeks before you have to travel. So let's go over that. Let's, 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 let's talk about what we should do. So you need to do a normal, typical bed bug treatment. You need to treat your mattresses, box springs, <clears throat> headboards, footboards, bed rails. I recommend uh, Crossfire. That's the pesticide that I use in my own business. Um, if you've been on my channel for more than a couple of years, you know that's the only thing I ever preach about. I'm of the Church of Crossfire. That's what people have said in my live streams. But um, it's it's a chemical. It's a really good pesticide. You know, I'm sure there's other things like Apprehend and different things out there that can be used on your house. But Crossfire is something that is sold to the general public. You can get it yourself. Not very expensive. And you can do an entire total bed bug treatment with Crossfire. It will kill bed bugs. Now, I recommend you do it at least two to three weeks in advance before you have to travel. You treat your mattress, treat your box spring. Don't just treat your house, you know, around your baseboards and all those places. I've got videos on that, and I'll post a link right here that you can uh, 
you can follow and, and watch a video on how to treat your home. But um, you need to treat your automobile as well. You need to treat the trunk. You need to treat the running boards. You need to treat all around. And I've got another video that I'll post too on automobiles. And like I said, all these links will be in the description too, just in case I don't have enough cards to put them, you know, right here. But, uh, you know, it, you need to go and, and watch that watch that uh, playlist on bed bugs and understand how exactly to treat your home, how to identify them. Maybe you don't have bed bugs. Maybe you just have carpet beetles. And so you need to watch that playlist and go through and follow my directions on how to get rid of bed bugs and how to treat your car and everything. All right. You need to treat your uh, luggage bags. So this is going to be something you want to do typically two to three days. Now we're getting closer to when we need to leave. We've already treated our house. We've already treated our car. It's getting pretty close to time to go. It's been a couple weeks. So now what do you do? It's getting right on the right on the verge of having to leave for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. Um, so now what you need to do is you need to go through and you need to treat your luggage bag. You need to let it dry. Don't put any clothes in it. Just treat it. You know, treat the inside, outside, around the zippers. Uh, mainly, honestly, the outside is the most important. But if you keep your uh, luggage like under your bed or in your bedrooms around the bed bugs, then you want to make sure that you treat your uh, your luggage. You want to treat any luggage bags, whether it's a backpack or a suitcase or a carry-on bag or whatever. You need to treat these. <clears throat> and you can actually pick up bed bugs from airplanes. If you're a person that travels through the air a lot, you know, on airplanes, then you need to make sure that you treat your carry-on bags because you can pick them up in the luggage compartments of the airplane or you can keep the bag on your lap if you're if, if you don't have bed bugs and you're just concerned you might pick them up from an airplane you can get them from airplanes people have gotten them from airplanes before so anyway let's uh let's get back on subject i'm getting off track so what you do is it's about a week or so out you're getting ready to go uh to your relatives and so what you do is you treat all your luggage treat your car again do another treatment of your car Go through the trunk, go through all the areas in the car, treat it again, let it dry. Let the chemical dry. Never mess around the chemical when it's wet. Always let it dry before you do anything in an area where you've been treating. You need to leave the area that you've treated and allow it to dry. In fact, the label even says this on pretty much every single pesticide in existence, is you treat an area, you leave the area, and you allow it to dry before re-entry. And this is just to keep you from moving the chemical around from place to place or uh, being exposed to pesticide where you really don't need to be overexposed to chemicals. So treat your car. Uh, it's been two weeks. You know, we're going to treat our car again. Maybe even treat your house again. If you're still getting bit and you're still having problems, treat your house again. And then uh, this should be enough to keep the bugs to a minimum. Um, now, let's say you just noticed these bed bugs yesterday and you got to get out on your flight tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow you're right on the edge of travel you just found out you have bed bugs this is what would happen to me honestly this is murphy's law and this is you know if you're going to discover a problem it's going to be when it's too late to fix it but it's not too late it's not too late to fix it so as long as you're a day or two out you treat your luggage treat your car if you're going to use your car to travel treat your car now i'm gonna i'm gonna pop something in here let's say you're renting a car so this is this is something that no one really goes over on youtube about car rentals let's say you're gonna rent a car and you're gonna drive on a rented car um now i don't know you need to read your paperwork make sure you're not going to avoid any kind of warranties or anything like that that you're signing or any kind of agreements but i would treat the rental car as well and the reason I say this is because you don't know what people have been in that car what they have traveled with in that car the rental service doesn't know what's in that car and so you need to make sure that you treat that rental car as well um, and it may not be possible it may not be something you can do if you're landing on an airplane and you get the car at the uh, airport which a lot of the airports will have car rentals right there at the airport and you just don't have an ability to treat that car. This is why it's very important to treat your luggage and make sure that your luggage bags and all are treated. It only takes a couple of hours for Crossfire to dry. So treat it, let it dry, load it with your clothes, and then go. You also need, and this is a special tip here, you also need to make sure that your clothes have been freshly laundered and dried. 
keep them in the dryer if you have to, and then put those clothes on and put those clothes in your luggage and leave the house. That way, if because high heat dryers and high heat washing machines will absolutely kill bed bugs. And so, as long as you're pulling fresh clothes out of the laundry that have just been cleaned, you don't have to worry about taking bed bugs in those clothes. Some extreme cases of bed bugs, I did one yesterday, where the guy had them living in his chest of drawers and his dressers and everything that were in his clothes. He was filtering through his clothes, trying to find the ones that had bed bugs in them and the ones that didn't. And honestly, it's easier just to take them all and wash them, dry them, and keep them separate from the rest of the house. Keep them separate from everybody so that the bed bugs don't get back into your laundry. And then wear those laundry, wear that clothes, wear that laundry on your way out of the house. Pack that laundry in your suitcase after it's been treated with crossfire. There's no way the bed bugs can get in the suitcase because it's been treated. And if they do try, they're gonna die. So you don't have to worry about taking them with you in your clothing. So that's about it. It's not very hard. It's not a lot to talk about. It's actually a pretty simple procedure dealing with bed bugs and trying not to take them with you. And this doesn't, no, this is not just for vacation. This is, or uh, holidays, this is for any time. You know, if you're worried that your kids might take bed bugs on the school bus or, or into the school system, you know, don't, don't spray pesticides on your clothes, all right? I've had a lot of people commenting on my videos, and this is gonna be a little bit of a rant, but I've got people commenting on their videos that they're taking Crossfire and they're spraying their sheets and they're spraying their clothes and they're spraying their coats and they're doing, you don't do that. Don't spray clothing that's gonna be on your body all day long, don't do that. You know, that's not safe for you. It's, and yeah, while Crossfire is a pretty safe pesticide, it's not for clothing. In fact, on the label of Crossfire, it even says if you soak your clothes in pesticide that you need to throw the clothes away. They're beyond washing. You know, I'm, a, I'm in a uniform. I, I, I work every day, all day. I get pesticide residues on my uniform every single day. I never wear the same uniform twice. I always wash my uniform at the end of the day with other uniforms. I don't ever wash it with my regular clothes because I don't want to get pesticide in with my regular clothes. This is just the smarts of, of trying to be safe when it comes to pesticide usage and pesticide avoidance. You know, just because Crossfire is really safe doesn't mean maybe something in the future they might find out that it might harm you. I don't know. You know, a lot of this stuff they don't know until later on after more study has been done on pesticides. So be safe. Practice pesticide safety. Always read your labels. Don't ever go against the label. Don't ever mix your pesticide too strong. Don't ever mix it too weak. Mix it just right. You know, pretend to Goldilocks. Goldilocks and the pesticides. All right. Hopefully this has been a educational video. Hopefully this will keep you guys from spreading bed bugs through the holidays. And if you like this video, remember, don't forget to hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, follow me, catch me on my live streams every Thursday night, and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you know, I hope you're enjoying life and that you're having a real good day. I'll see you next time. Y'all have a good one. Thanks. Video.